Hello everybody, today we are going to learn how to enable root permission and access in your Kali Linux machine after you do that initial installation. So right here, after you install Kali Linux, your username and your password is going to be Kali. And then we are going to log in. Now I went ahead and I clicked here to open up this window so we can get access to our files here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get that root access so we can go ahead and make some um, updates. So the reason for enabling this is so that we don't have to keep repeating the sudo command every time we want to install a program. If you were to go ahead and try to install some uh, program, you would be denied access because at this point we are not the root user. So if we do something like this, install cl dash All right, so you see right here, permission is denied because we are not the root user. So once again, just uh, showing you some reasons why we have to go ahead and make this a root user. So um, this is why as the uh, user, you always would have to then go ahead and you know type sudo and so we're going to prevent that so we're going to input the same command again but this time we're going to put the sudo command first all right Okay, so now we were able to install Okay, so uh, just to mention, the password is not going to show on the screen. Uh, so make sure you know when you go ahead and get that, you just enter it. For those of you who are new, it may be a little confusing entering the passwords, but just know that that is for security. All right. So now let's go ahead and make it so that we don't have to go ahead and use the sudo command to get to root access every time we log in. So we're going to do sudo su. Let's type in sudo password. Now go ahead and enter your desired password for the root and then hit enter. Then retype the password again. update was successful now what you want to do is log out of this account so you want to go to your top right okay then we want to click log out 
this will log you out now into your username as the root and the password that you just updated as your password then log in And now, as you can see, when we log in now, we're going directly to the root. 